Zabbix 7.4 introduces a new nested low-level discovery feature that enables you to perform discovery on multiple levels and create low-level discovery rules from low-level discovery rule prototypes. Let's see how it works. On the screen right now, you can see an example of a JSON data structure with multiple levels. On the first level, we have our databases, DB1, DB2 over here, and DB3. And on the second level, we have table spaces, TS1, TS2, and TS3 for each of our databases. So I've actually sent this data structure via Zabbix Sender to a Zabbix Trapper low-level discovery rule, and I have created an example dependent low-level discovery. Now let's switch to the front end and see how that behaves. So in my front end over here on my database cluster host, you can see four low-level discovery rules, a parent low-level discovery rule, discover databases and table spaces, and over here we have nested low-level discovery rules, discover table spaces for each of our databases. Now let's open up our parent low-level discovery rule and what it does, so it's a Zabbix Trapper item. I've sent the data structure to a Zabbix Trapper item with Zabbix Sender and it simply grabs the database names and populates the DB macro with them. We can see it over here, right? Database name over here is grabbed. So like this with JSON path. It has a single item prototype, active connections to each database, so it will create three items over here and it also has a discovery prototype a new type of prototype discover table spaces for db over here let's open this discovery prototype so the discovery prototype utilizes low level discovery macros from the parent low level discovery rule over here so it'll discover table spaces for each of our databases in pre-processing, we use JSON path to point it at the second level of our JSON structure. So at table spaces over here, right? So it goes through these table spaces and looks at table space names and populates TS name macro with values of those names over here, TS1, TS2, and TS3 per each of our databases. So if we then look at item prototypes, let's go back to our discover databases and table spaces, go to discovery prototypes and click on item prototypes for our nested low level discovery rule. We can see that we will create items, size of table space, TS name for each database. Now let's go back to our database cluster host. So let's look at our database cluster host over here and we can see that indeed we have three items created by the parent low level discovery rule, active connections on each of our databases. And for each table space over here, we have size of table space on DB1, 2, and 3. So this is a quick example of a JSON structure and the behavior of nested low-level discovery. And there are no limitations regarding how many levels you can use for nested low-level discovery. A nested low-level discovery rule can have a discovery prototype of its own. So you can go as many levels as you want with our new nested low-level discovery feature.